Hey there, how are you today? I hope you're good. I'm great because I'm going to the Hell and Mega Tour. Yes, Green Day, Wizard, and Fall Boy on the same night. I'm totally not okay. And if you follow me or if you have been subscribed for a while, you know how obsessed I am for Green Day. So I'm too excited. I think this is a very special moment. And for my Hell and Mega Tour night, I decided to go as a cheerleader. So I literally did the outfit by myself. I learned how to curl my hair. And by the way, if you could please pretend that this is beautiful and not falling apart. Part, I would really appreciate it. And I also got my nails done. Oh, bro, it's so cute. So, for today's video, we're gonna get completely ready for Green Day. And while I get ready for it, I tell you the story of how Green Day saved my dramatic Brazilian childhood. It's a very beautiful and inspiring story, actually. Okay, let's go. Yay, I'm so excited for this. Here's the thing, just like makeup, getting my nails done by myself is not one of my main skills. But I got this really cute bag from Modelons. And on this bag, they have literally everything that you're gonna need for getting your nails done by yourself. Yes. And I decided to try this out and give it a chance because they are nail gel. So they're supposed to last longer. And they have cute stickers too. But So if just like me, you're not very good at getting your nails done or if you play an instrument or something like that, this is very useful because I did my nails two days ago and everything is still fine. I'm really happy with this and if you know how to get your nails done by yourself honestly this is heaven like this is a full playground here i wanted something pink girly that would go in my outfit like a barbie girl in a barbie world but i like to keep my nails fun and i hate painting my nails in just one color so i'm letting the link in the description if you want to buy it okay I always start from the eyebrows because my eyebrows, as you can see, they're not very dark in. I, I need to put a presence out. I need to show people who I am. Green Day, Boulevard, Broken Dreams. So here's the thing. I was born in Brazil originally, right? And I grew up in there and I have no idea on how things are functioning in there right now when it comes to music. But I left a few years ago, so... And again, just can you open so, so i just learned a bunch of stuff and new artists and new music and a lot of things after moving here but we have to consider that i live in la the music scene is very very strong in here anyways that's not a point so when i was a little cami i used to live just with my mom my parents are divorced i would see my father like every every other week and my father he's very very into music but that does not mean that the music that he's into it's good. I mean, there was some stuff here and there that he likes that I learned how to like, but still. So I used to live with my mom and my mom... But my mom, she really does not care. But the things that she does care and listen to... I remember when I had a date once, I told him that and he asked me to show him what kind of music my mom used to listen to and I was like, no no we're fine and then he insisted and i was like okay and when i showed him he was laughing for at least 30 minutes pure humiliation just so you know anyway so when i was a little cami i used to say that i hated music can you imagine that my mom she used to listen to the radio every single morning before i would head to school and she would have to work so it would be at least two hours of the day listening to music non-stop and it was the kind of music that i hated and sometimes on the way to school we had to listen to that as well anyways eight years old one morning that i remember perfectly i was getting ready for school my mom was listening to the radio and then holiday by green day start playing i never forgot that that is that is so clear on my mind because i felt in love completely when this song was over the guy from the radio he was like holiday by green day not being dramatic but i really think that if you wasn't for green day i wouldn't like music like i like nowadays after that day sometimes i like to do this that is a thing that you put on your face and then it keeps glowing because you see can you see you can see doesn't want you to see which sucks because it's so aesthetic and beautiful so my parents they used to work full-time right and in brazil the schools they are not like in the u.s that you spend the whole morning and part of the afternoon in the school in brazil you have to spend either the morning or the afternoon in school of course my mom didn't know what to do with me in the afternoons i used to study in the morning so i would stay home with my grandma today by the way the day that I'm filming this, it's supposed to be my grandmother's birthday. I'm not gonna talk much about that. I didn't have a really good relationship with my mom, but I had a great relationship with my grandmother. When I came back from school after that morning, I told my grandmother that I really wanted to know what a green day was. I didn't do this well. I still can see the bag under my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I usually do like colors with the eyeliner, but I think I'm gonna just just like it an eyeshadow. Found out about the music. Ah, that's cute. Look at that. 
Barbie Girl and Barbie Award. So we found out about the music channel. Actually, I started to watch MTV when I was a little bit older, like about 12 or so, but we had other music channels. Anyways, we started to watch all those music channels just because I wanted to listen to more of Green Day. And when I finally saw the music video of Holiday, and yes, I remember this moment as well when I saw them in the car and everything was so fun and cool and I was like This was so made for me and it's funny like cuz Green Day is still one of my favorite bands and she should I know the light the light Don't abandon me in this moment guys Stop Stop. No way I could do it. Because, like, it takes me forever and I cannot do this while filming. I seriously can't. I tried so many times before and it just doesn't work, but now it did. Okay, let's not celebrate that much because we still have one eye to go. No shit. I'm so happy I could do it. <gasps> I'm not crying. I just, I literally just poked my eye. <laughs> now I'm gonna do this, like, here, because I found out that it can make your eyes look bigger and. I'm here for it, you know, Barbie girl and a Barbie word. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that I saw the music video of Holiday. And we started to watch the music channel a way more, like literally every day. And I like to watch it with my grandmother because she not only had time for me, but she would judge everything that I would listen to. Nowadays, she's kind of better. But she would see a problem in the music videos and etc. And I kind of get it because I was a child, but still, it wasn't a big deal. But my grandmother didn't. She didn't care at all. But because of Green Day and the music videos, I not only... This is fun. So I not only started to have a shape on my music style, I started listening to things like Linkin Park and I started listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers, Simple Plan and all the things like that. And one thing led to another. And, and when I was about 12 or so, I was already listening to things like Pink Floyd because of Green Day. Yeah, of course that it all would happen one day or another, right? But it would have happened a way later and I'm not when I was a preteen, you know, like when I was a bit older than eight, I started to watch MTV more. I actually, I actually, I would be a complete slave of MTV and they would show a lot of live music, something that the other channels weren't showing that much. I have no idea of how the other MTVs around the world were like, but in Brazil, they had really, really fun and cool shows. Remember this one was the, it was my favorite one that was like two girls and they would interview artists, they would show music videos, they would talk about fun fact and i would be like dude this is literally my dream job i wanted to be a vj you know i don't know if that's how you call it and i am in love with myself right now i'm gonna make this video longer because i cannot <gasps> guys like this video this is a miracle god damn it and i'm having a picture idea right now like this is gonna be so nice anyways oh so i'm done Okay, cool. And always, like ever since I, I was a preteen, I wanted to work with music, but in that way, like talking, you know, communicating. And, and it's just funny that it all just happened because of Green Day. I'm a cheerleader, right? So I wanted to do like a bowl in here. I, oh my God, it's gonna be so cute. I'm, I'm asking for too much of myself. Like originally, I think when I have to do that in real life, my friend Lua, if you're watching this now, I'm already giving you a job to help me because I'm going through a lot right now. Okay, maybe it's not gonna... <laughs> Maybe it's not gonna be perfect for the video, but you get the idea. I thought about putting this on my wrist as well because I, I cannot buy the pom-poms. I'm afraid that you're gonna throw it off. Being really honest, they're not one of the bands that I listen the most, like all the time. <laughs> Look, it's not that pretty, but... It's not one of the bands that I know literally every single part of the lyrics or anything like that But it's just like I can't it's always gonna be on my top five I just have so much love for them and for we have a history, you know, we have a history Hold on. I'm gonna be fine. It's just something that goes beyond. I can't explain the bunny on my channel It's a bunny that was inspired by <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I was I was such a punk Barbie princess, but this is falling. This is falling. And the bunny that's on my channel was inspired by the drunk bunny, the bunny of Green Day. So they play a really, really important part in my life. And I've just seen them live once, like literally in 2017. And you know what is funny? I kept, it was so intense for me that I kept the, the beer cup that I got in there. And I've been waiting to see Green Day live for like five years now, a little bit, yeah. Five years now, so and still I'm close to complete a hundred shows and Green Day. 
<gasps> guys, that looks so nice. Oh my god. Okay, I was saying that I'm, I'm close to complete 100 shows and Green Day is still one of the best ones. Okay, you want to see my outfit? Does that make more sense now? The nails? Ah, I love it. This I made by myself. Patches and then you and then you put it with the iron. Okay, let me show my fit. <gasps> this is so bad. I'm emotional. No, this bow has been so toxic right now. Yes, winner. So I wanted my pom-poms. Oh, I have to show my socks, right? Oh my god. No, for real. No, for real. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so aesthetic. Not aesthetic. I'm happy, I'm proud, and I hope you are happy and proud as well. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. So of course, I'm going to create content here. I'm going to create content on my Instagram. So just follow me in there if you want, okay? That's it. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. You guys have been forgetting to subscribe, or you don't want to, but... I come on, subscribe. So I opened my heart, okay? Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye.